a man without a country, sort of. And I feel like giving them a house, making a home for them, is going to give them stability and help them. Even though they're older kids, they're still kids. They're still mine. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then head to the office. Since Meg's new career as a paralegal is going well, and she's been able to set money aside, she's now in a position to buy. My last house was about a 3,000 square foot home, and so I've decided that what I'm looking for is maybe about 1,200 square feet or so. I'd like a three bedroom house for me and my kids. They need their own space and their own bed and under their roof with me. I think I'm like going to stay with a, a ranch. I like the setup and That's my all house. on one level. Easy hmm. in, easy out. I'm not a big cook, so I don't need a big kitchen. I'd rather have a larger family room, living room area, a dining area. Meg's on a tight budget and can spend between $100,000 and $130,000. So she's willing to look at fixers. Just get, get a bunch of these together and pick little things. This is my friend Julie, and she's going to help me with my house hunt. She's got a good eye for decorating and keeping a home. It's a big challenge to me. I'm very impressed that she really likes how I decorate. I value her as a friend, and I like the fact that you really trust me. Thank you. Have you actually seen that? It's very funny. I'm looking forward to a house that I can walk to downtown Farmington. I love the hometown, quaint little town feeling it's got. It's very mom and pop. Finding a place of my own is going to kind of cap this long, difficult three years. This will put it all together. All that hard work, all that difficulty will now be in a happy home. Well. Meg and I have already discussed yeah. about making offers on houses when she finds the right one. She was thinking about lowballing. That doesn't really work in this market.